All right, welcome back. Let's watch this video together. I'm a mom of seven, and I'm 33. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children is still capable of finding someone? First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, so this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children, okay? This is no offense to you because there's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and several children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is gonna to have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you. When you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in the house, are you gonna have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yep. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children, those are not his kids. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the, with the father. No, no, hear me out. say send hold it back, hold on. All right, shout out to the tonight's conversation. I, we got this clip from there. And shout out to Spiritual Ward for putting this out there. Uh, but I saw this video and I was like, oh, we got to talk. We got to talk. We got to talk. I'm a mom of... She's a mom of seven. 33 years old. She wants to find love again. At first, of course, like, wait, what? She asked the right question. She said, uh, are they all the same father? And she said, yes. All right, now... A person who would have seven kids in this time and generation has somehow something ended whatever they had going on with that person. Uh, I don't know. I would like to know what happened there. Okay. If I were you, you're getting with this kind of person. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope they know what they're doing. <laughs> okay. All right. So guess what somebody said. Let, before we talk about it, let's just look at some of these comments. Right. Somebody said, my grandmother had six kids her husband died she got married again had seven more she outlived two husbands and now lives a soft life with a special friend <sighs> wah, 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 wah. all right first of all that sounds like that's about 50 generations ago all right and uh that that might from the look of things i haven't done enough studies there but it sounds like it's a lot of people did that back then Please don't compare that to this lady right here okay most people at tops they want three or four kids nowadays okay uh because first of all life gets a lot more expensive not just money wise just life you know uh how much more when you actually have uh you know Listen, in this time and generation, you actually seen a lot of men have actually been on the bad receiving end of getting with a single mother and they feel like they're not appreciated enough for the position they've had to occupy. And she's right. That man will have to be well prepared for a big task in front of him. Okay. He has to be well secured in himself because the reality is that she's a mother of seven and not just that they're gonna come first before him always that's just going to be the reality because she's a mother that's not necessarily a wrong reality it's just part of the cross now that you have to carry if you decide to get with this type of lady all right so what about raising all those kids first and then she can get back in the dating scene if it's never too late then that should not be ever too late at that point in time right so um that's the that's one thing the other thing i'm thinking about is that or uh, why the active why is she actively trying to date by force by fire right now why is she not just doing her thing living her life and some men would naturally if she's doing well and taking care of herself men will even be surprised that he has that she has seven kids and they might just fall in love with her already first she's a pretty she's a pretty girl right they might fall in love with her first before they find out that she has kids like you got seven kids like wow and then he might start to think about it like 
she's just so cool like i can see myself with her and her children i've gotten to know them instead of leading with that you don't have to lead with that again this is the same let's put everything at the forefront let's be honest from the get-go you shoot yourself on the legs there's something called timing okay whenever i say selective honesty i don't mean to lie i'm just saying you should be socially aware have some social intelligence and then remain a student of social intelligence there's just some there's a way you move that's the way you have to move in life to get the results you're looking for and there's something called timing in life you land the wrong information on the wrong person the wrong timing um you're you are basically trying to satisfy yourself you're being blunt and you just want to satisfy yourself your need your obsessive needy behavior your neediness to come off as holy and you're not holy okay that's just selfish behavior on your part okay so if i were her I wouldn't be her but if i would advise this lady she needs to stop worrying so much about dating she needs to take care of herself uh men will come anyway that's just the reality they will come if you're taking care of yourself just naturally other human beings want to be a part of that picture right you can take care of you smell good figure that out first before you're trying to figure out dating with seven i don't know how old her kids must be young she's only 33 herself you know so i'm not sure what they're trying to pull over let me see some of this other comments here again all right somebody said girl focus on them kids for now exactly focus on the kids that does not put dating on hold necessarily if people approach you you create a little room you but stop like the obsession with going on a date when you have seven kids that's that's like an, if i open up that part of the conversation that that's like kind of warms you know all right somebody said my mom had five kids two baby daddies met my stepdad when i was five he had no kids they still married yeah you're talking about anecdotal situations and you're not talking about the outcome of 15 years later in that relationship there's just a lot of men that are bitter because they became a baby they become a stepfather and they felt like they were never appreciated properly for that or on top of that they just they entered one chance okay so we're not just going to rub over that because of the experience of your grandmother or your mom i'll be stop the cap somebody said yeah you can find a man his name is jesus christ <laughs> that's just wrong that is wrong why not jesus really anyway somebody said seven kids only sound good around tax tax season ah there you go it's coming up already it's just i don't know what was she doing having seven kids Oh, Jesus Christ. It's got, it's got to be a lot of trauma she would bring it to the table too. Now, she might say, I'm healed. I'm in therapy. Listen, that's now a common say. When people say, I'm in therapy, uh, honestly, I am tempted to say, what do you mean? Right? Sometimes when they say, I'm in therapy, they haven't seen their therapy in three months. Straight. <sighs> Lord anyway just like we're talking about sorry anything that you start hearing more and more of it you need to have it, start having side eyes too i said hey this is probably losing its value already too not therapy itself but the way people what people how people implement it i should say you know it's probably not what you're looking to do you gotta be careful someone said my mom had four girls met my okay, i already touched on that uh okay my mom had four girls met my stepdad and been together since 20 plus years ago that's very very possible that's the truth it's very very possible okay and been together for 20 plus years um yeah uh, what else can, can you tell us more the, is was it a good relationship right it says children have nothing to do with you as a woman Oh yeah they do have a lot they are they consume lots of resources okay and food is the least of them as a matter of fact your time is the least of them can we like already like stop the cap this is not healthy jesus christ i feel triggered stop the cap <laughs> all right even me as a dad okay and i have a wife who does a fantastic job taking care of her kids 
Okay, I will never make such statement. They have nothing to do with you as an adult. That's a wrong statement. They have everything to do with you. That's watering down the reality and that's not going to help anybody. Real men will take care of you and your children. That's 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 just dumb, okay? Uh, coming th that person should not be saying that, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. Y'all have no idea why she left. Going back isn't always an option. Yeah, because the lady said, if I were you, I'll walk things out with the with your baby daddy. Well, I don't know. But then, you know. My grandmother had 10 kids and the husband that helped her raise them was not the biological father. It can be done, sis. Don't give up. Ha! Voila. The fact that, listen, I get that we want to encourage people that may be in this situation circumstantial-wise. But please, let's not normalize something that, that's obvious obviously not normal okay if it's not normal you're the exception to the rule you will never become the rule so i think it's very disrespectful for anyone to tell her to work it out with her with her kid's father no i think you're being extra sensitive she she didn't say much about that the way she said it, if i were you let's see Nothing. okay so this is a little hold on we're talking about seven children Okay. Seven children. This is no offense to you because that's. She said there's no offense to you, but yet you find an offense to it. Are you mad or something? There's. It's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. She said it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. It is possible. That's possibilities. Probability. Oh, you're gonna do a lot of work. It's not gonna be as simple as you want. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the... It's not a tad bit difficult, but that's just a way of talking. It's going to be <laughs> difficult considering that she's leading her story with these kids already. The fact that she will stand up and have to ask these questions is probably an insecurity on our part already. And that's going to show up in different ways. Financial footing to take care of you and seven children. And then you also have to... She's probably going to say, I don't need your money. Well, that's going to turn to another type of problem for a man. I don't need no man's money. Then you don't need the man. It's not about the money or the man. It's about that attitude. It's going to eat up that relationship. Eat it out. It will destroy it. To be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children. It's are almost impossible. Is it possible? Yes, it's almost impossible. It's seven kids, not two kids, not three kids not four kids jesus christ and if your grandmother had 10 kids first of all that's a past generation second of all uh bro there's a lot more going on in that situation that's not an inspiring story i'm sorry um, one person is a lot to oh, create close to your grandma by the way it's structure and all due respect to your grandmother so there's a lot that this man is going to have to come in and do on top of that creating a secure space for you when you have for to you as an individual first right now if a man is engaging that it's possible okay i'm not gonna knock him hopefully he's seen something i don't know hopefully he knows something i don't know okay hopefully it's a special type of man because that's a special type of situation be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man can you love this man the way he needs to be loved he might be infatuated right now he's in love with you he thinks he can handle it okay oh. is it possible yes is it probable no i think it's a no she should be focused focusing on those kids and if a man comes along and then that man obviously they are responsible for uh what they are capable of doing is it possible like i said yes okay would i advise a person it's not my i don't tell people what to do because i can't see that far in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that would i do it no registers as love to him when you have would i date a single mother absolutely okay yes absolutely would i marry a single mother yes 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 would i advise a person who is in love with a single mother to marry yes 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 would i be delusional and tell them that 10 kids is not going to mean a lot no i won't be that's the point here okay two kids three kids yes okay four kids teenagers doing very well growing up you're trying to get back in the dating scene absolutely okay because there's something in cruise already baby little babies you're 33 you got seven kids there's no way there's no small kids in that you should be focused on those kids and then everything else good 
including a man a man will come will follow okay but if you you know it's just weird okay it's a lot going on here i really want to know your thoughts on this by the way I have to love seven other individuals you're going to need a man who can love those children as his own yeah that is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children those are not his kids those will effectively become his kids if he decides to do that is he going to be mentally ready for it it's almost unlikely okay <laughs> His sex was probably too good for him to think straight okay how about let her take care of those kids uh, okay even if you really like that person and you want to be with them can you not try to be their biological father please okay uh, at least like please yeah, to take your please okay let like don't try to come there and be a macho person could it work <laughs> like i got those 10 kids they're not your kids okay they're your kids but not really and you have to have the emotional intelligence to find that sweet balance there and uh and you know if you're going to be worried about what people have to say this is probably a bad idea probably a bad idea let's continue but i if i were you no disrespect i'll try to work it out with the with the father she said if i were you no disrespect i'll try to work it out with the father she already knew this girl is a very smart girl by the way the one that's talking right now i don't know what her name is but she's very smart maybe actually maybe that's her is that her kitty kitty something let's see here kitty oh that's her this is her actually here i'll follow her kitty kitty j rose she's very good she has some insight a lot of insights okay um let's see okay so this person uh let me see it's very it's very disrespectful for anyone to tell her to work it out with her kid's father she left for a reason i'm a mom of four all my kids have the same father exactly you could relate you could relate with her pain that means you're not you're not being you can't you even if you try to be objective you're always going to be biased so you're not capable of talking like even putting your mouth you should be listening more than you're talking jesus christ i'm a mom of four all my kids have the same father i divorced to due to abuse stop telling people to go back see emotional reaction okay you have the right but jesus christ i can't take your advice or your words too seriously i can only take it as an opinion she's free now and yes she will find someone better i did i promise you it's a man for you sis one that's gonna love you and your seven no this does not tell us the full story in fact the only thing we can say here nobody leaving me with seven kids take them take them with you see another angle this person nobody's leaving with me seven kids take them with you anything is possible of course but that's anything right not everything anything is possible but i agree with kitty it's a lot for a man to take on it's a lot and if a man is in love with you there's a good chance he has no full context new all the nuances that comes into taking on such responsibility so as a woman i would hope that you've done the work so that when crisis inevitably hits like it hits every relationship you will have enough to handle it okay most men would not want to walk into a situation like that it's a financial burden it's a huge one if the focus is good he might be willing to walk into it but you have to be prepared that he doesn't know what he's doing yet okay you have to pray that's not necessarily a good thing that a man will just walk into it because quick quick was, was good and you're dealing with a woman who won't be able to prioritize you anyway well it depends on what you mean by prioritize if you keep putting him against the kids that's going to be a problem if he's a man that will put himself against the kids yes and when there's 10 kids is the high likelihood of that is inevitable ah oh, what did i just say god help me it's hard to explain to a man why coming to a show like this would be beneficial for him. Ah, button. Another angle. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I want to know your question. Give it your own advice. Give your own advice too. In the what would you advise this young lady? What's your advice for her? Okay. I believe that personally she's focused on too many things. She should be focused on those kids. And if it's meant to be, uh men will come to you uh from your workplace your job place family and friends and stuff like that if you are attractive enough men don't care if the quickness is good they will fall in love with all you and all those kids anyway but when you are leading with this insecurity because it sounds like insecurity to me already <sighs> i don't think she should be 
worried about this kind of stuff right now do me a favor hit the like button share subscribe turn off your notifications so you are notified whenever we go live hopefully you've been enlightened and educated i'll see you on the next one and peace Your love that I've been missing I miss all your hugs, your touching and kissing Me love on the floor, the couch in the kitchen One love enough, we done enough